Hey YouTube, this is I am Faja, and today on Editing with Faja, we're going to talk about the chroma key effect and how you too can spice up your next little video. Uh, we're going to be using uh, Pinnacle Studio Ultimate Collection today, and I've taken the liberty to uh, pull down a couple of pics, and we have them on our overlay track. And for the purposes of this video, this is going to be our foreground line. The line above it is going to be our background line, and that's where we're going to add photos. So we're just going to pull down a couple of sample photos here, and we're going to drop them Oh, we'll draw, drop it right in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch this out to about 10 seconds. And then I'm going to grab this one here and I'm going to stretch it out to about 10 seconds as well. So we have enough time to see this. Um, let me grab one more over here. This is a really cool pick. So we'll just drop it down here. And we're going to stretch it out to about 10 seconds as well. And we'll grab the photo underneath it and stretch it out. Now, interestingly enough, um, as you can see here, we got two photos on the um, on the storyboard <clears throat> excuse me at exactly the same time but you're only seeing the overlay so what we want to do is we want to bleed these together well that's real simple uh, what you do is you click on the uh, photo uh, that you want to use in your foreground and the one that you want to add the chroma key effect to and as you can see here in the preview pane I just got a little piece of green screen hanging behind me here we're going to double click on that we're going to go to our plugins and we're going to go over to chroma key effect. Now as you can see we've opened the chroma key effect and it's already starting to work. If you look here in the preview pane you can see how you can see some of the picture but it's not as bright as the picture in the uh, background and now we're going to make those adjustments and show you how to uh, make it just as bright. And we start that by clicking on OK. Now we're in the toolbox and there's a lot of different things here. There's some sliders in here and there's an invert key and there's a key color frame here. Your key color frame is the color that you're trying to tell the computer that anything that's on this color we want to make invisible we want to make it transparent we want to make that part of the foreground pick transparent so you can see the background pick so the first thing that we have to do is make the colors the same well that's real simple we just grab our dauber and we come down here and we click on the green screen in the in the pick and we can even do it in this pick because they're the same material we click that and then we go back over here to this one and as you can see the key color has changed now the really cool part is we get to make it a just see even right there in the preview pane it's already looking better but we're not quite there <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about these sliders and what they do color tolerance this slider controls the width of the range of the hues that will be recognized as being the key color let's go over that again the width of the range of the hues so in other words a hue is, is, uh, is color and color is hue, but there's different ranges. Uh, what we want to do is we want to use the maximum amount of that single color. We don't want it to get funny and flighty. We want it to concentrate exactly on the color that we gave it. The preset is at 75, but I like to make it 100. It just makes it a lot sharper and a lot clearer. Now, I don't know if you saw the adjustment on YouTube that I have here, but watch what happens if we run it down to zero. Uh, nothing you know it just, there's nothing there you can see some little specks in there and stuff but we want to set that at 100 and I would suggest that you set yours at 100 as well saturation minimum uh, saturation is the amount of the hue in the color so right now we have it set at zero but if we run it up to about 58 you can see it they're, they're no longer bleeding together they're no longer working together so you always want to keep that one at zero softness uh, softness is basically using this controller it helps you control the density of the video uh, if you run it up to about a hundred it goes away if you run it down to zero it's back the preset on this is normally 40 for pinnacle and I've been real happy with where that is so that's normally where I leave it transparency easy one boom hey where'd I go Woohoo! I'm aware where to go you're transparent so now as you watch as I start to click this down you can see a little bit of the white frame start to come back into the photo there we'll click it on down a little further and you can start to see me start to bleed back in a little bit oh it's a poltergeist faja Ooh, kind of scary in it anyway but if you run it all the way down to zero what you're telling is that you want zero transparency the only um, 
The only situation that I can think that this might be useful in is if you were shooting uh, your talent um, in front of a green screen and you were trying to use the chroma key to put that person into like a uh, smoky or foggy setting. Uh, you could probably use this and make it work very well. Uh, spill suppression. Uh, spill suppression, you, adjusting the side will uh, help suppress the audio noise or the fringes along the edges of the foreground object. So let's say that you, um, say you were making a cell phone commercial and uh, you had your talent stand in front of the green screen and they're holding the cell phone and they're talking and blah 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 and then you go ahead and you shoot that video or that pic and then you want to use the chroma key and uh, put them in a setting of a park you know you got ducks quacking in the background rah, 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 rah. you got a hot dog guy selling hot dogs you got a bus running up and down the road you got a guy oaring on the boat well if you're you don't want to completely mute that video track because that lessens the the character of the uh, of the uh, commercial you want to hear some of it but you don't want to mute it so what you do is you use this slider here to suppress how much of that noise is bleeding into the uh, the track uh, without having to use a, a fader to make it go away invert key very simple boom it inverts there it is uh, nothing real special there so we're gonna leave it here because I like looking at myself now Check this out. I'm going to show you a real quick, really cool thing that Pinnacle has. Uh, I don't know if the other software has it or not, but we've got this one pretty much set up right now where we want it to be at. So instead of having to come in here and go to your plugins and go over here to Chroma Key and look at 100% and 0% and 40% and 50%, all you got to do is just close this, go to the pick that has the settings on it that you that you want already. Now check it out. I'm gonna push it over here to show you that I'm wrong. You see right there. You see that you can't see that canyon behind me, can you? We go here to the clip. We go to copy all effects. We go to the next pick, and we right click and we go paste chroma key effect. And boom, it's done. Right there it is. Does not matter what pick is behind you or what video is behind you. It just happens that easy. Now real quickly, I'm gonna show you one other thing here. I want to show you how easy it is to do this with uh, with videos. We're going to go over to my opening and closings, and we're going to go to last year, and we're going to pull down some. Uh, let's pull down some blue smoke here. Let's go here, and we'll go back here, and we'll go right here, and we'll go here, and blue smoke. All right, we're going to pull blue smoke down here, and we're going to put it on the. Uh, the, uh, the the background and let me just go let me grab a pick of uh, let's um, let's use this one right here we'll just do this one here but what we're going to do first is we're going to um, gosh I don't want to do this shit uh, we'll let it load here so we'll let it load and you'll see what I'm talking about I think it's it's too early because what's going to happen is once it starts to come in oh there's the blue smoke all right good to go so it's getting in there so what we're going to do is we're just going to take this pick that already has the chroma key effects on it and we're going to copy that pick and we're going to go right here we're going to right click and we're going to go uh, paste that pick and we're going to tighten the gap up a little bit and watch what happens when we start to hit the play on it it's going to come out of this one and it's going to roll into that one and if the chroma key is working properly we should start to have some blue smoke coming up behind me pretty cool huh it'd look a lot better if I gave it a chance to bleed in and you know how HD works you just gotta let it bleed in well listen folks there you go that's how to use the chroma kick and, uh, key and spice up your next video as always give me a good rating hit that thumbs up button share this with anyone that you think would uh, find it useful if you have any questions please post them in the comment section below the video and I and this is why I ask you to do that there will be questions about this video you will run into stumbling blocks and you'll want some help and I'm always there to help you but if you ask your question in the comments uh, I can answer that question in a uh, in the public thread here where people can see it so two days later some dude might come in and say hey I got the same question he, he scrolls down he sees the question he has the answer he doesn't have to uh, waste his time reposting it or sending me a private email and then waiting for me to turn around and answer it so the uh, the threads underneath the videos are sort of, sort of like forums people help each other out so we appreciate you watching the videos give us a good thumbs up and uh, rate comment share y'all take care Bye. Thank <laughs> you.